starting a vlog. Today is Saturday. We're heading to Eddie and Ryan's house to help them finish up some of their house projects. Um, I think they're gonna do some painting. They have to install their trim and paint their trim and stuff. So we're just gonna go help them, but it's officially fall. I'm wearing a cardigan. I'm feeling very fall. I mean, my outfit's very basic, but it's just, it feels nice to wear like a little sweater and boots. I'm wearing boots and leggings. <laughs> and I took my extensions out. I think I told you guys that, I don't remember. I took them out last week. Um, so giving my hair a little bit of a break. But yeah, we're gonna head to Eddie and Ryan's. Dan, you wanna say hi? They haven't seen you in forever. Hey guys. Sorry I look a little bummy, but uh, we're gonna go do some painting and... Well, you're gonna do some painting, I'm up again. Yeah, so, you know, <laughs> just prepared. So we'll, uh, we're just gonna hang out, put a deadbolt in Eddie's door and um, finish the wall because um, their painter went MIA on them, so. We're gonna have a little fun. Yes. Hi guys. Okay. Oh, there's a hair. Sorry. It's the next day. We did not end up vlogging yesterday, like at all. Uh, Dan and Eddie did some painting in their house, and then Ryan and I took her dog Jack to the dog park. But I didn't end up vlogging at all. Yeah. So I, it was a lot of work, guys. I, I don't want to say you missed missed too much, but it was. Uh, <laughs> A lot of painting and sanding, just like fixing stuff with to get their kitchen 100%. Yeah, so we're gonna go, we have to go do our like grocery shopping and like a Walmart pickup. And then my laptop absolutely has to go to the Genius Bar. So we have an appointment for 145, so we're gonna do that. Hopefully I am praying they don't have to like send the laptop off and you know, I'm without it for a long time. I'm hoping they can just fix it there. So we'll see. Gabriella would just much rather have a new laptop, so we're. Uh, of course, I would. <laughs> Who wouldn't? Also, if... we're gonna look at look at them and like. I haven't seen see, the new laptops the new in like forever. I haven't looked. That laptop's it's not old. It's five years old, but like, I feel like a lot has changed. Oh yeah, yeah. Technology, technology wise, in like five years, so we'll go look at that. Also, our tiles ready for a bathroom. We got our tub in yesterday. We have our mirror. We have like every single thing that we need for the bathroom. We just have to get it started. The only thing we have to get is a new fan. Lights. And like some wall sconces or whatever light pendant thing we choose, but. And I'm like obsessing over replacing this door, so. That's also very true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it is, but the door is like literally half milled up off so it's just like it's been like that since he moved in yeah the doors from like 1960 so all the trims like super nasty and just like chewed up just old so we're trying to do it on a budget because we put a lot into the materials of the bathroom and i'm going to try to do the bathroom myself so we got new tile new tub vanity that i showed, we picked I showed out. them the vanity yep. and the faucet um the tile we got to pick up, but we picked it out already, and it's going to be just a really beautiful white. <gasps> what was it's that? back there. Might be the shelf. The shelf oh, thing. God. I'm scared. So. <laughs> yeah, so we have everything we need for the bathroom to get started. Are you going to do the whole thing yourself, or are you going to have someone help you? for the? Well, he's going to have a thing. I got a new window, too. Yeah. Have, you have a this whole window? project started because the bathroom window, we have like an octagon window in the shower area and the wood started to rot. Like just fall away. It was always wet. So the new window is all vinyl, um, can't rot, but windows in a shower are not not a good idea normally, but. See, and that's funny because like, put them in. I was gonna say my, ho like my house growing up, had a window in the shower also. Yeah, it, they're difficult. But not octagon, it was like a regular window. They're nice, they're just difficult to watertight in yeah. any, of, any of the windows, because it's not like a solid wall, so. I love having a window in the shower. I think it brings in a really nice natural light. It does. And it's a nice vibe. And so the window we got, I made sure could open um, again, which was like I love really to open hard the to window find. while I'm showering too, like yeah. in the, especially in the summer. It's such a nice relaxing spa experience. At least I close my eyes and I feel as though I'm in a really nice spa. We have extra time before our Apple appointment, so we're going through the car wash. 
and then gonna vacuum it out. This is all D Mr. D. Cruz's idea, you know? Yeah, it's been a minute, so. <laughs> he loves this. I have to clean the, the wife's whip. <laughs> 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 he lives for this stuff, don't let him fool you. Yeah. I, I used to wash my car by like hands every day after high school. I just, I, it's like I don't have the time anymore, so car wash is good for the dailies. Oh gosh. I'm scared. Okay, this makes me claustrophobic. Help. <laughs> Okay, you guys, update on the laptop situation. It is now 3.30. We had our appointment at 1.45, but there was like pretty long wait today. And yeah, there's like a yellow like. Uh, hot rod? Yeah, I don't know. I was gonna say, I don't know what it is, but. It's like a tea bucket, I think, or like a Model A. I think it's a tea bucket. It's cute, but um, so we brought the laptop in and we were waiting. It was like a 45 minute wait. We finally get to like our technician or whatever. And in the meantime, Dan and I, Dan really is like on the laptop, like trying to get it to freeze up, like the trackpad to freeze up like it was doing so that like the guy can see the problem. Naturally, it wouldn't freaking work. Like it wouldn't mess up. So the technician comes, we tell him what's been going on. He's like, okay. Um, he asked us like how much we wanted to put into it. He said, because it could be three problems. It could be the trackpad, the cable and then like the cover the top cover and if it's the top cover it's like $500 it's to repair yeah. so it's not worth it you should just buy a new one basically so we told him our like we only wanted to throw like $150 at it so he's like all right well that's worth it for me to go take it to the back and he opens it up and like looked at the cables and he comes back and he's like everything's fine so I'm like okay so I don't know I don't know what the heck just happened with my laptop if that was like a freak thing or what but um, he showed us how to turn off the trackpad if we wanted to use like a wireless mouse. So in case that happens again, I can just use the wireless mouse. So all good. But we are at ShopRite picking up our groceries and we have to go to Aldi after this to pick up some food for Oliver. I still make Oliver's food <laughs> and Aldi's just like has the cheapest prices and yeah, the cheapest ground turkey. So we're gonna go pick up some stuff from Aldi. I think we're gonna have Moe's for dinner and I'm very excited about it. <laughs> There's free queso. Yeah, Dan has a coupon <laughs> for free queso, so it's all good. <laughs> and then, yeah, that's yeah. our day. I, I really need yeah. to watch Dahmer. We we started the first episode and then like we're like halfway through the second episode and it is very intense, right? Yeah, like the first episode they had a some guy's head in his fridge. Don't spoil it. Yeah, but Spoiler. <laughs> spoiler alert. <laughs> It's intense. Hi you guys, good morning. It is Monday morning, it's about eight o'clock, 8.02 exactly, and I'm feeling good. We started Monday off on a great start. I got up around 5.30, went to the gym for a half an hour. I know it's only half an hour, but listen, we're taking baby steps here. So I went to the gym for half an hour, did the elliptical, um, came home, uh, uploaded the vlog. It just would just, hello, can you speak? uploaded the vlog, I edited it last night and finished like uploading everything this morning. So that's up. I just made some breakfast. Yes, I'm using a paper plate because I am too lazy to wash all the dishes because I just unloaded the dishwasher. So um, it's just like an English muffin with egg whites and turkey sausage and some ketchup. That's Crystal Light iced tea. And yeah, so I am feeling good about the day. I am gonna take a shower after I eat this and get ready and i don't know i don't really know what the day holds for us today i'm not gonna go see uncle chris today because his my other uncle is coming up to hang out with him so i'm like okay cool do your thing have fun i'll be here so yeah i don't know the girls are having some pig ears oliver's eating his breakfast and we're all just having a great morning so far so i hope you guys are having a great morning but um yeah let's keep this positive train rolling and have a great day today. <laughs> okay, first of all, it's the same day, sorry. <laughs> I didn't really film much after this morning. Uh, we didn't, I didn't really do anything today, to be honest. I just self tanned, cleaned up a little bit, did a little laundry, like the usual stuff around the house, made dinner, 
packed Dan's lunch, <laughs> made breakfast, like all the usual thing. Well, you guys saw my breakfast, but just the usual stuff. Um, I did some reading and I got the vlog up and answered some comments and answered some emails. And anyways, now it's like 8.30 and Dan and I are watching Dahmer. It is terrifying. Like truly just so sickening. Um, we're almost done. We're on episode seven. There's 10 episodes in the show and it is like hard to watch, but it's so good. It's like, it's almost like watching like a, a car crash. Like you don't want to watch, but you can't not watch. It's really good, but also gross. <laughs> so yeah, that's how we're ending our night. Hi guys, good morning. Uh, today's Wednesday. It's about 9.50. I dropped the dogs off at the groomer this morning and I just got home. I got my package. Well, I didn't just get home. I got home like 20 minutes ago and then I sat in my car for 20 minutes scrolling through TikTok. Am I the only one that does that? When you like pull into your driveway, you just sit there for a moment. And by a moment, I mean like 10 plus minutes. <laughs> um, but I had my package waiting for me. This is from Bloomsy Box. Let me cover up my address. And Dan got me like a flower subscription for the first year of our marriage, like every month on our like anniversary. So our anniversary is the 30th. Um, they usually come like a couple days before that, but every month he got me like a flower delivery and uh, it's called Loomsy Box. So some are better than others. This is like the sweetest thing ever. Um, let's see what this one looks like this month. Obviously they change every month. It's really, it's such a cute idea. I love flowers, like love them. Typically I'll buy them for myself. If, you know, Dan gets me flowers too, but not, I like to have flowers in the house like all the time. You know what I mean? Okay, let's see. But I'll just like buy myself some flowers from ShopRite. That's like typically where we do our grocery shopping. Um, and they have like three bundles for $15. And I usually just buy myself like the mini carnations because they last for so long. And I'll have like two bouquets like in here. But let's see, this one's cute, it looks like. I see some sunflowers, hold on. They really package it well, let me show you. Like it's like in there. It's sunflowers and white roses. So yeah, that's my Bloomsy box. I look forward to this every month. It's so fun. I love flowers. I feel like this was such a really romantic gift. Wait, what is this? There's like one white stem. I don't know what that is, but yeah. So thanks, babe. Um, oh, there's other flowers in here too. I think there's cow lilies. I don't know. Let me let's open it and see what it looks like. Okay, so that's what it looks like this month. It's so cute. I think I was mistaken. I don't think these are sunflowers. I was, they don't look like a typical like yellow sunflower. I don't know, chrysanthemum? I have no idea. I wish it came with like a little card that told you about the flowers, but so yeah, there's those flowers. There's white roses. Are these calla lilies? I feel like they might be, I don't know. And then eucalyptus. So very cute, very fall, love it love hi i know i look amazing right now uh it's friday afternoon there's nothing in there for you it's just a blanket lola is like crying at this bag of blankets that i have because she thinks there's a toy for her but there's not so sorry anyways i just got home literally like a minute ago um i took care of chris this morning i left the house at like seven we did everything he had to do he had like an appointment he had to get blood work he had to do his laundry. And so now it's one o'clock and tonight I'm having Michaela and Madison over and we're doing like a little hokey, hokey, hocus pocus party. We're gonna watch Hocus Pocus 2. And so I like picked up a bunch of stuff to make, you know, so number one, set the vibe. Number two, to make some little things. Um, I think everyone's bringing something. I invited Shannon and Ryan too, but Shannon's sick and Ryan has to work. So it's just the three of us, but it's kind of perfect because there's three witches in Hocus Pocus and hi, hello. <laughs> we're the three witches okay um so let me show you what I got okay first of all if you I love a theme like I live for a theme it's so fun so but I also live for a theme on a budget so I went to the dollar store 
Let me show you the cuteness that I got. First of all, I'm gonna make these apple cider mimosas, which is like apple cider, champagne, and then you rim the top of the glass with, with cinnamon sugar. Look at these little champagne flutes. Tell me these aren't cute. I mean, for a dollar, these little like skeleton hand glasses. So cute. So I got three of these, love. Um, I'm also gonna make, where are my little gloves? Oh. I'm also gonna make like little witch hand popcorn gloves with candy corn as like the nails and then the hand out of popcorn. So I got the gloves from Walmart actually and a candy corn from Walmart too, I think. Um, but then I got this little spooky basket to hold the little hands in. I thought that was cute. So we're gonna do that. Um, they had cute little plates. Look at these, they say creep it real. You get 18 for a dollar, buy, so cheap. Two packs of napkins, one says trick or treat and one is like some monsters, love. Um, I just got some Reese's mini cups and some Tootsie Pops that I accidentally ate in the car, whoops. Um, and then some Twix and I got this little like sugar skull throwaway like platter for the cookies that I'm gonna make. I'm also making chocolate chip cookies. Um, and then they also had these cute little like treat bags that I got because I figured Everybody can like take leftovers home, like cookies or whatever it may be. Um, Madison has a daughter and Michaela can take some to her boyfriend or whatever. So I got little bags. Um, and then look at these little hats and tell me these are not perfect for a little hokey pokey night. Like so cute. Three little like witches hats on sticks. I'm gonna put these somewhere, I don't know. Um, and then Walmart had these throw blankets for $9 each. So I just got each of us one and they're like Hocus Pocus themed blankets with like different things on them. They're just like throw blankets so we can all be cozy while we watch the movie. It says Hocus Pocus on it. It says Witch Brew, Magic Potion, Spider Venom, like just different things. So these were $9. So I got these and I'm going to make the apple cider mimosas. I'm gonna make this like pumpkin shaped cheese ball, like cream cheese ball that you eat with crackers, but it's like in a pumpkin shape. It has this cute stem. At least that's the, that's the goal. We'll see if it comes out right. So we've got that. We've got, I'm gonna make this caramel apple dip also with cream cheese. I'm gonna make chocolate chip cookies, the witch's hands, and then I have like apple cider donuts. And then I think Madison said she's bringing like pumpkin cheesecake bars or something like that and one other thing. So yeah, I'm excited. I love, I love a theme, like truly. So yeah, I have to, it's one o'clock. Everyone's coming at seven. JK, it's 1.50, 10 to two. Everyone's coming at seven. I have to shower, vacuum, get all the food prepared and get ready. So let's see if we can do this. I'm gonna make the cream cheese ball first because it has to sit in the fridge and like harden. So. Okay, so this is my little cream cheese pumpkin cheese ball. I don't know, it's not the <laughs> prettiest thing. I think one fell off. Did one fall off? I don't know, but this one section is like way bigger than the other one. Anyways. Um, so this was just two blocks of cream cheese, a packet of ranch seasoning, and some like shredded cheddar cheese. And then it's gonna sit for a few hours and then when it comes out of the fridge, you roll it in yellow shredded cheese so it looks, you know, orange like a pumpkin. And then you take the stem from a bell pepper and you just like place it on top. I don't know, hopefully this turns out okay. But into the fridge. Okay, cookies are done. I use the recipe by Joyful, no, Joy Food and Sunshine, and they come out really good every time. So cookies are done. Also, I just scratched, accidentally scratched. I don't know, you can only see it. There you go. The plastic off the two because I thought it was dirty because <laughs> I am OCD as hell. And now I've ruined the number. So cool, 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 cool. Okay, my battery's dying, so I need to hurry up, but I'm gonna make the little like witch popcorn hands. You need the clear gloves that are latex free, powder free, and food safe. So they're kind of like lunch lady gloves. <laughs> they're just like these clear big gloves. And my mom used to make these for me and my brothers like Halloween 
parties at school. And you just take like a piece of candy corn and that's gonna be your nail or like, you know, like the witch's hand nail. So you just put it down there. You put one in every a little finger hole. And then basically you just stuff the rest of the glove with popcorn. So I got this popcorn from ShopRite. It's just Wise Butter Popcorn. And you literally just fill your glove with the popcorn and it turns into the cutest thing. So because my camera's dying, I'll show you when I'm done with it. Look how cute this is. So the hands are literally, there's just supposed to be like little witch's claws. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. It's cute. It's on brand. It's on theme. We're loving. And it brings me back to my childhood. So we love. Okay. Makeup is on. I put my hair in this weird little half up pig style. Pig, I don't, no idea. But I'm getting my extensions in tomorrow. So <sighs> grateful. <laughs> um, but anyways, okay. I just made this like caramel apple dip. looks like this it has a cream cheese layer first it's like cream cheese a little bit of powdered sugar some vanilla extract and then caramel dip and then I just crushed up some Heath bars and put it on top and I gotta cut up the apples oh this is what this is looking like our little witch hands little cookie donut candy spread I'm gonna make some I have the caramel heating up so I can like rim these um glasses with cinnamon sugar for the apple cider mimosas and i have to put the cheese on the pumpkin ball still okay so the pumpkin was a little bit of a fail it needed finely shredded cheddar cheese and i only had like thick cut so it looks weird but here is everything else oh and then i set this up in here the little popcorn and the cookies and stuff and the blankets and they'll be here in a moment. Also, they're gonna be wearing their Halloween PJs and I didn't have any, so I got this like cheap shirt from Walmart and it's way too small and keeps rolling up. So, thriving. And I have Halloween socks, which do fit and are cute. Hi guys, good morning. It is the next day. Dan is here in the background. <laughs> I wanna sit. You don't want to? I said I wanna sit. Go ahead. Oh. We're about to do my hair extensions. So I am starting off with like clean hair. I just got out of the shower, blew it dry. I did color my hair a couple days ago. I wanna say I did it on Wednesday. I definitely did do it on Wednesday, but I just did my roots. And funny enough, I know it looks black, but this is why I like get the color that I get. So I get a level three, which is supposed to be like a dark brown because one being black, 10 being platinum blonde, three is supposed to be like a dark brown. And my hair always pulls really dark because it's very porous. So I always get a level three, but the extension color that I get to match is a 1B, which is like off black. So we're about to do my tapins. Um, I'll try and film some of the process for you. Dan is just so thrilled. <laughs> I tend to like try a different brand, but this is the brand I used last time and I really liked it. It's the Amazing Beauty Hair Extensions. Um, again, it's in the shade 1B and in a 22 inch. So I get, I usually use four packs. So I have three of those and then this is like a leftover pack from a couple times ago. I'm not really a huge fan of this one, but it's okay. Also in the shade 1B and this is 18 inch. So I'll probably use this like in the front of my hair. So. Um, what you usually need is like a clip of some kind to get your hair out of the way. Um, I usually use like a rat tail comb to make sure the sections are clean. Well, Dan makes sure, makes sure the sections are clean. And yeah. And then also pliers. Do you have your pliers, babe? <laughs> this is how <laughs> he like secures the sandwiches together. So they're just like needle nose pliers. Um, Essentially, like hairstylists have a tool that's kind of similar to needle nose pliers, so these work just fine. You just kind of like put the two extensions together and then clamp it and put some pressure so that they stick together. So yeah, all right, let's do this. <laughs> it's a song.
So to start, I typically put like two fingers like this and I don't have him start till we're two fingers in to my hairline because that's where like, I don't know, the hairline's, the hair's super, super fragile right by the hairline. And just like that, we have our extensions back. I haven't like done anything to them. They're just gonna stay like this today cause the weather is like really rainy and nasty and I'm just not gonna style my hair for no reason, but it feels so good to have them back. And then once you have like your tapins installed, you don't wanna wash your hair for 48 to 72 hours because you want the, like the tape and the glue to set. So I used about, like when all said and done, I probably, between, eh, I used pretty much all four packs. There's maybe, let's see, there's three sandwiches left. So three pieces left. So I definitely used all four packs. All right, so we're gonna get dressed and we're actually heading to Eddie's house to help him, well, I'm not, Dan is helping him install the trim. Um, and I'm probably actually gonna go to Old Navy and Bath and Body Works either in the mall or I might go to the Southbury like little store. So that's the plan. I'm not gonna put any makeup on. I did do my little like tattoo brows with this just to darken them a little bit, but I'm definitely not gonna put makeup on today. It's just kind of like a casual chill day. Throw on some leggings and maybe a sweatshirt and we're good. Also, I cut these terribly. So let's just ignore that. I did that literally like a week ago and I've regretted it ever since, but we're just moving on. <laughs> Okay, so I just dropped off, uh, I was gonna say Eddie. I just dropped Dan off at Eddie and Ryan's house and they're installing the trim. So I figured I'd come to Old Navy. I'm looking for just like the fall basics, like a long sleeve white shirt, a long sleeve black shirt, just like maybe another pair of leggings, like just those kinds of things to get me through. Um, I haven't been to this Old Navy. I think, I don't think I've ever ever been to this old navy i'm in southbury i don't even know if this one has like the plus size section because i know that they recently like pulled some of the plus size sections from different stores let's cross our fingers if they don't i mean an xxl will work for me like in the tops so yeah there's also an ulta right next to this old navy but like can't get too crazy <laughs> so let's go into old navy and see what we can find like I said, I'm I'm probably just gonna be like be in and out. This shopping center seems like really, really busy. It is Saturday at two o'clock, so yeah. Um, but let's see what we can find. Okay, I just came out of Old Navy. On my way into the store, I met one of you guys. So hi, Trisha, if you're watching. It was so nice to meet you. You are so sweet. I was, it was so nice to meet you. I love meeting you guys. It's, it's only happened to me like once or twice, maybe three times, but like it's so special and so cool when it happens. So hi, um, thank you so much for coming up and saying hi. It was really, like I said, it like makes my whole day. So. I did end up going into the Old Navy and they did actually have plus sizes. So I was like very happy to see that. And they had like a pretty good selection of stuff. And I don't know, it was just like a good vibe in there. All the stuff I got is black and white. <laughs> I went in there with the intentions of just grabbing like um, a couple of long sleeve shirts. Like I just needed a black one, a white one. And like, I think I told you guys that I'm like a pair of leggings. So they had some really good clearance pieces. I got this t-shirt, which I thought would be good for the gym with like a pair of leggings. It's kind of just like a oversized boxy tee. Got it in a 3X and it was, it rang up, well, it says $8.99 on the sticker, but it rang up as $3.99. So I was like, hell yeah. So I got that. Um, I love these t-shirts. I like live in them from Old Navy. They are on clearance right now for $8. They're like a scoop neck, um, ribbed short sleeve shirt. And these are good for all year. Sorry, my, it's super bright now. It's super like overcast and I can't figure out the lighting, the proper, like perfect lighting. Um, but I love these little like ribbed t-shirts. They have the perfect little like short sleeve, scoop neck. The scoop is pretty low. I feel like like you get a decent amount of, you get a lot, I feel like it's kind of like a, decent amount of chest showing um but i feel like they're great for layering i love the way these look with like leggings or jeans or whatever and i feel like you can throw a jacket on it on top of it or like a sweater and it's just cute so these are eight dollars so i got a black one 
Um, and I got a white one because you guys know that all of my white shirts constantly get ruined. So when they're on sale, I pick them up because to me, there's nothing better than a fresh white t-shirt. I don't know why that's a thing for me, but it is. Um, these leggings were on sale. These are my favorite leggings right now. They're the ones I'm wearing right now. They are so nice. Um, they are the Power Chill leggings from Old Navy. These are the 7th, 8th ankle ones. Again, I figured this color would be good for the gym. It's probably not going to be the most flattering. I'm sure you'll be able to see like a little bit of cellulite and stuff, but I really don't care. Um, so I figured I'd wear these for the gym. They were on sale for $12. So I grabbed these in a 3X. All of my other leggings from, <clears throat> from them are in like a 2X. XXL or 2X because I was never able to find the 3X and then I ordered some bike shorts over the summer from them in the power chill style so like the same style but a bike short in a 3X and they were really nice because like you could not see through them at all no matter how far I bent over so I got grabbed these in a 3X and I grabbed another black pair in a 3X they were on sale for 30% off Originally, they're $26.99, but they were, again, they were on sale for 30% off, so I grabbed another pair of these. Again, the Power Chill Extra High Rise Leggings. They're so nice. It says they go, go dry, light compression, hidden front pocket, and they're just so nice for whether you want to work out in them or you just want to wear them as, like, your everyday legging. I love them. And then these are the long sleeves that I ended up grabbing, this, like, cream color one. Again, with a scoop neck. I really like a scoop neck. I find it to be like very flattering on my face. It just like opens up my neck a little bit. So I got this one long sleeved in a size 2X. They didn't have a 3X, but it's super stretchy. 2X will be absolutely fine. It was $20 with I think 30% off of that as well. And I just grabbed a black one too because basics layering. I want to get like some cute vests and stuff this, this season. So yeah, that's what I grabbed. I spent about $85 and I feel like that's a pretty good deal for two pairs of leggings and what four shirts so that was good there is an Ulta here but I am going to resist the urge to go into Ulta there's nothing that I need um it would just kind of be like whatever looks good and there's no need to waste money so I'm gonna go back to Eddie and <laughs> Ryan's house and see how they're doing I've only been gone for like an hour but that was a nice little treat this is a nice little area they have the old navy the ulta and then when i was talking to trisha she said there's like a gap down there and a couple other stores so it's a cute little area it's only about a half an hour from where we live it's like right in between my hometown and like where we live so it was perfect but anyway i will see you guys in a little bit